Now, Kenya has in the past come under criticism both at home and abroad for its poor response to disasters and other emergencies. How was the situation in Garissa handled? How different was it from the aftermath of the Westgate Mall attack in 2013? And now for some insights, I'm joined by Mr. Apayas Masai, the acting director of the Kenya Disaster Management Unit. Mr. Masai, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you, sir. Now, response, you know, the action, the act of terrorism nowadays is almost expected everywhere. But people are judging countries by how they respond to these situations. Uh, first, uh, how, did, how have you uh, responded as an agency to the emergency uh, in Garissa town yesterday? Actually, Barmakori, as you've said, uh, thank you for that question. And the uh, issue of response is not come first because as we're aware that... Uh, uh, disaster uh, management requires a lot of mitigation, preparedness, response, and recovery. Our focus normally should be most on mitigation, preparedness. Uh, response coming in because when we are now attacked, we must respond. Mm -hmm. And our response plan in Kenya has been set as the, the national uh, working documents. Uh, the Kenya government has set up a national plan whereby it has uh, plans, uh, standard operating procedures, uh, whereby it has brought in place National Disaster Management Unit, NDMU, uh, which is an uh, uh, agency and it plays a lead role in managing of emergencies and disasters in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So the plan is well uh, coordinated in that. Uh, in the past, you realize that uh, there was lack of proper leadership, coordination, command and control. And now, who, uh, who is ensuring that there's proper coordination if it is an interagency kind of unit? Uh, what is being done to ensure that everything is streamlined? Uh, NDMU has capabilities and is, uh, through its functions, it has been given over leadership, uh, control and command. And it ensures that uh, stakeholders in Kenya are, are conversant with the uh, Kenya National Disaster Management uh, Plans and Standard Operating Procedures, whereby there is also a national uh, protocol on mass casualty instance whereby all uh, stakeholders, key stakeholders in Kenya came together and streamlined how incidents have to be managed in Kenya, whereby each and every stakeholder has been given a primary responsibility as uh, what they're supposed to do uh, before, during and after disasters. I just want to give you an opportunity to give this, uh, to give me in a very uh, kind of concise way, uh, the typical response, say, to what happened in Garissa and how this can apply elsewhere. A typical response, uh, I am now in the United States of America uh, because I was here for official tour. I've just heard of this uh, through uh, media and uh, actually I cannot really give uh, uh, the specific of what is actual response. Uh, as what I know, the best practice is uh, incident management as civil in nature, whereby the first responders actually, and I believe, who are uh, resp who respond to the incident are the public and the police. Uh, the military normally comes in, in support. But in some situations, if an incident occurs and uh, the military ha have a responsibility to deal with the, 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 the situation at hand, they have the capacity because they, they have got their functions and within those of their functions, they have a responsibility to support the civil defense. But I want to believe that you've been involved in coordination, although you're very far because you're in charge of the it agency, aren't you? It is true. Yes. Uh, actually, on the ground, as far as I know, because uh, our... Uh, national plans uh, are really uh, directly explains on who to do what and what, uh, what levels. Mm -hmm. You know, instance by nature, they start local by nature. Imagine that this instant, it started uh, as a small instant, but as it is, uh, it is a, a big instant whereby it involves the, the whole nation. And if this incident involves nation, uh, our president is actually in charge. Mm -hmm. And I've heard the, the president's sentiment whereby he has said he has okay. mobilized all resources towards okay. this instant. Thank you. So the president is actually in charge. Thank you. Yes. And we hope we won't see a repeat of this. Um, Mr. Masai, thank yes. you. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Pierce uh, Masai is the acting director of the Kenya Disaster Management Unit.